All right, friends, thanks for joining me today. We are gonna go ahead and we are going to drill a hole in the end of this using the lathe and the Jacobs chuck. All right, so I know what you're asking. What is a Jacobs chuck? Well, this is a Jacobs chuck. It is a chuck that holds a drill bit or something else that has a taper on it. The taper fits in the end here. So what you'll need to do is run it out a little bit and then take that and push it in. Oh, see, I didn't run it out far enough. So you have to run it out far enough because there's a bar in here that will keep that taper from going in too far. And when I want to take it out, I run it back and that bar will hit that Jacobs chuck and it'll push it off that taper. So I have to bring it out a little bit and then now it's just wedged in there. It's just a taper system. There's no nuts holding it in there. There's no screws. It's just a tapered system. So now I can put whatever I want in here and I can drill a hole. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my center drill and we're gonna have a little hole drilled with the center drill. All right, so a center drill is this. It has a drill bit type cutter on the end. It has a step little cutter to where it'll go and drill a small hole and then it'll angle out and do a taper to accept your bigger drill bit that you're gonna use. You can get a set, we have this set that has many different sizes. This is the one I use most of the time. And so it's, uh, it's nice to have a set so you can do different things, different size operations. So we're gonna stick that in the Jacobs chuck first to drill our part with. So you have to have a chuck key. Here's our chuck key. We're gonna put our center drill in, and then we're going to tighten up the chuck. All right, now it's nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck up my piece. We did a uh, taper operation on this, but now I wanna drill a hole. So I'm gonna put that in my chuck. I wanna get my turret cutter out of the way. So I'm gonna bring it back on my cross slide and my compound rest. I'm gonna bring it all the way back here so it's not in the way. I'm gonna take my piece and I'm gonna chuck it up just like normal. Make sure to spin it, make sure nothing's loose. We'll turn it on, check it, it spins true. We're good there, so now we're gonna bring the tailstock up close so we can do a drilling operation. I'm gonna get it to where it almost touches, then I'm gonna lock it down. So I'm gonna take it and tighten this nut with the 19 millimeter wrench so now that's tight, it's not going to move. So as I turn this wheel, it's going to drill into that part. All right, so as I'm drilling, I'm turning this, it's going to start drilling into here. Okay, so we used our center drill. You don't wanna bury that center drill in. You really only wanna go up to like halfway up the uh, taper. If you need to go more than that, you need to get either a bigger center drill or you need to start drilling with your drill bit. So now we have a center drill. We have a drill a hole started in there. We're gonna remove our center drill, put in a drill bit, and then we're gonna drill a hole through that now.
All right, so I have my twist drill bit set in here. I have my part ready to go. Now let's talk about speed. Whatever speed you're turning at, to drill, you need to cut it by half. 50% speed for drilling. So remember how to figure our speed for turning, four times the cutting speed divided by the diameter. So four times the cutting speed divided by the diameter. So aluminum has a cutting speed of 300. So four times 300 is 1200. Four times 300 for aluminum is 1200 divided by the diameter. This is one inch diameter. So 1200 divided by one is 1200. Now to drill, I need to cut that in half. 50% speed for drilling. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna turn this at a 600 or less speed. And actually I have it set even less than that, which is fine. So I'm going to drill this part with this twist drill. So we're gonna turn it on. And we're going to turn this We're gonna back it off, turn it some more, back it off. When we back it off, it breaks that chip so we don't have a super, super long stringy chip. Yeah, we got some that's lengthy, but it's not gonna get too long where it wraps around everything. We'll back it off, go in a little bit, back it off. Now, I would also use oil when you're doing this. Get some cutting oil. Put it on your twist drill. I wouldn't put it on your part or in your part because that's just gonna fly everywhere and get all over you. Trust me, I've ruined shirts because of that. So put it on your part, on your twist drill, and then go in a little bit and come back. A little bit more and come back. Okay, that is how to drill on the lathe. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this part. Okay, we have a hole that's drilled in the end of this part. If you wanna drill a hole all the way through that, you can easily do that. There was a hole drilled on this other end that went almost all the way through but we uh, don't need it all the way through on this end, so we didn't, we didn't drill it. So that is how to drill on the lathe, and this will make a good centered hole. We know that that is centered. We used our center drill, and we drilled it on the lathe. All right, friends, so remember to work hard. You know what I'm gonna say. Hard work is its own reward, and hey, thanks for watching.